three overs gone and Pakistan just none for one. Nadasa facing Wayne Daniel. And he beats Daniel in mid off. Aldean Baptiste. A man who's had those shoulder problems. But certainly not too much wrong with that throw, which suggests that he's fully recovered. Logie moves away from cover point to do the fielding. Madassa 10, Mansur 2. He's facing Wayne Daniel from the cathedral end. And there's some aggression. Slightly short there from Wayne Daniel. And Mansur very quickly onto that delivery. Always impresses me with his position. Always in good position, Mansur. Just what the doctor ordered for Pakistan. They need to play some shots. It's well played, the very short mid-wicket boundary. That's a good drive there from Madassa. Just concentrating on his placement, picking the gap. Malcolm Marshall is the man at mid-off. Madassa 12, Mansour 7. Just the one extra. It's none for 20. It's a good shot from Mansour. Baptiste very quick there at third man. And the ball off just inside the boundary. Great shot. Holding might have been a 440 champion, but he's not going to get that. Michael Marshall gave Mansour a little bit of width there outside the off stump. On a full length, very wide, and Mansour hit that a tremendous distance from his body and from his front pad, but he must have an eye like a stinking fish because he really hit that in the middle. Batsman's gone, Mansur Ektar. Dujon was in no doubt. Mansur Ektar moved away quickly there. First wicket down. Well, there was a noise and uh, Dujon went up for the catch. He seemed a little bit mystified. Mansur walked away from the stumps. He was convinced he hadn't hit it. I had the feeling that uh, the batsman was through too quickly. I thought it might have come off the helmet, Frank. Yes, I was of the same opinion. The stroke's through now, then the ball passes. And it seems to clip the back of Mansour's helmet. And so Akhtar, the first man out for Pakistan. 42 on the board now. Opening stand was 40. And that is certainly out. There's no question about that. That was a good delivery from Naldine Baptiste. Big leg cutter. And it found the outside edge of Madassa's bat. Two down now. Quick wickets falling, and Pakistan in trouble. No sign of what was to come in the beginning of the Pakistan innings, but that was a fairly wishy-washy shot outside the off stump by Madassa as he tried to play that ball very square into the covers. Played across the line, got a thin edge as the ball moved away, and Pakistan lost their second wicket with 42 runs on the board. Malcolm Marshall bowling, Javid me and Dad take strike. Oh, and a big appeal there for court behind. Tarvid playing a little dab shot there. Gets a big edge to the wicketkeeper Dujon, who makes his third catch of the match. And that's a big breakthrough for the West Indies. Tarvid Miandad out, caught behind. He really didn't go after this one. He was more looking to try and guide it down to third man. And got a bottom edge, and Jeffrey Dujon taking his third catch. So, very good start for the day for Dujon as it is for Marshall as he picks up his second wicket. Javed Miendad out for four and Pakistan three for 54. Salim Malik faces Marshall. 
Olive. That's a quick delivery there from Malcolm Marshall. Getting through the defences of Salim Malik. And the stumps are down. The West Indies really getting themselves into a good position here. And what a good over this is from Malcolm Marshall. First the bouncer. Very good delivery to Kazim. And this one then it came back off the seam. Salim caught in no man's land. Playing from the crease. And a very good piece of bowling once again from Malcolm Marshall. He's third wicket today. And Pakistan slump to four for 59. Malcolm Marshall. One played away way very well there by Kassim Omer on the offside. He gets two third man fieldsmen. Pakistan still in plenty of trouble. Four for 65 and your commentators now, Ian Chappell and Frank Tyson. Kassim Roger coming in fairly high up the order. Gus Logie gets a prepared bounce there on the covers. And Wasim Raja will pick up two. It's a good shot from Wasim Raja. Michael Holding will cut it off. And they get two. likes to hit over the top and he's done it very successfully one boundary down there at mid on and some rather slow running next them just two Baptiste bowls Wasim Raja takes strike it's a good shot from Wasim Raja well timed and a very rare sight there a misfield from Michael Holding such a flexible man, he normally bends down very easily and picks those up with one hand. It's a good shot from Raja. Finds the gap. The old man, Clive Lloyd. Getting those wobbly knees moving. And pulling it back just inside the mid-off boundary. be safe. Malcolm Marshall is out at deep square leg. Malcolm Marshall, the man who has done all the damage here for the West Indies. Once again, Raja picking that gap at mid-off this time. Clive Lloyd has realised that there's too far to run. Down to deep mid-off, he sent the youngster down to do the work, Gus Logie. Richards really tempting Wazim Raja and he's taking up the challenge. Good boundary from a straight hit. Yeah, it was a good solid hit that Viv Richards tossed the ball up hoping that Raja would go for that windy wolf down towards deep mid wicket where he had men stationed. Intelligently, this master of arts from Pakistan hit the ball straight. Time he goes in the mid-wicket area, very high, but clearing the boundary. A good hit. That's a pretty long boundary up there. And a good piece of timing from Wazim Raja. He really revels in this sort of situation. Has a reputation of being a hitter. He to it in England, and my word, he lives up to that reputation with that enormous hit. Call and he's taken advantage of it. Put it into the long on boundary. Goes on now to 42 and he's faced only 35 balls. Today. This is a lovely innings by Wazim Raja. He is a big hitter of the ball and he doesn't mind lifting him in the air in this fashion. Flicking that one over the top of Midwicket's head. The ball running way down there to the very long boundary on this ground. Wide mid on. Simon Moore now on strike. He's got to keep looking for the single to give the strike to Raja. Might get two there. In 
indeed they do it easily. Richard Gabriel out and log on. So this innings is moving along briskly now. That'll be two more. Well, Clive Lloyd might have to make a decision there with that man who is perhaps a little bit deep for that push shot of Cousin Omar's. Fielded. Oh, he's got to be out. Oh, almost over Dujon's head. And Dujon is saying, why throw it that hard? Kazim goes. What a mix up. What an extraordinary mix up. Great piece of fielding out there. But goodness me, fancy being stranded, both of them at the same end. Yes, Kazim decided to go straight away, and the fielding there, beautifully done by Logie, I think it was. And. Classic in mind, instead of trying to get back quickly, and when one uh, bears in mind that throw was almost out of the reach of the wicketkeeper, well, it wasn't Desmond Haynes who was the fieldsman. I think it was Desmond Haynes. Good stop by him and a big breakthrough, breakthrough this for Pakistan for the West Indies. Pakistan five for one twenty-seven. Five for one twenty-seven. Eighteen to Madassa, twenty Mansur Akhtar, twenty-six to Kazim Omar, four to Javed, and one to Salim. And Raja hits it straight down the man's throat out there at mid wicket. Vivian Richards. Well, it's almost beyond belief that with 15 overs still to go and five wickets down, that Wazim Raja should play that shot. Almost as unbelievable as that last run out. Clive Lloyd there, a little giggle saying, Oh, yes, he's, he's signalling, I think, as that one's played in the air down to deep, find, uh, down to deep mid wicket taken by Viv Richards. Clive Lloyd in the background there signalling that he thought that the off spinner had strangled him. Well, I don't know about that. Was him Roger, I think, gave it away. 6 for 137. Abdul Kadir faces Gomes. Side edge there. Pick up three. Well, they could have picked up three. That very ordinary running between the wickets. Abdul Kadir, who's taking strike now, won't get as much spin out of this pitch as he did up in Sydney the other day. He bowled uh, quite beautifully. And he's picked out the one fellow out at long off again. Eldine Baptiste just had to wait there, move perhaps a yard. And there's a little bit of thoughtless cricket going on here from Pakistan. He said it was uh, a straightforward catch. The ball hit straight down the ground. It's a long boundary down there. Not easy to hit it over the top of the fieldsman's head. Abdul Qadir didn't. He hit it straight to Eldine Baptiste. And he's out for four. And Pakistan now seven down for 135. One taking strike is uh, using the SP bat. That's Tahir Nakash. The other one with the stripes is Ijaz. And once again, Gordon Bowl goes begging. And oh, well done. Gordon Bowl might have gone, but the run out's been pulled off there by Gus Logie. Uh, he and Nakash uh, is not well pleased with that. He considered he had made his ground. Well, I think you might uh, find out that he hadn't. Opportunity there, albeit uh, a very slim opportunity of a court and bowl, but have a look at Gus Lagi slams that thing at the middle stump. To hear they're not very happy. He's made a duck and the score now eight for one three six. Nothing from the last delivery. It's 8 for 177 at the end of the 50 overs. Javed Miandad having won the toss, deciding uh, that Pakistan would bat first. Top scorer was in Raja with 46. 
Well, I'm not sure that's enough runs for Pakistan, but I suppose they'll be relatively happy about it because at one stage it looked as though they could be out for around about 150. Eight for 177 in the end, with Wazim Raja hitting 46 from 40 balls faced, and all the others getting a start up the top there, Madassa Mansur and Kazim Omar, but not quite able to go on with it. And Kazim Omar fairly slow today, 26 in 71 balls. That last wicket partnership between Ijaz and Rashid Khan, 41 in just 11 overs. The bowling figures for West Indies, outstanding performance there by Malcolm Marshall, nine overs, one maiden, three for 28, two wickets to Gomes and one wicket to Eldine Baptiste. So the asking rate is just over three runs per over as far as the West Indies are concerned, but bear in mind they've had plenty of trouble with Abdul Qadir and other leg spinners in this season and in past seasons. Here is the first over of their innings. Pakistan ready to try and defend 178. Rashid Khan to open the bowling. Only two men allowed, allowed outside that restrictive field circle. And West Indies are off the mark straight away. Desmond Haynes picking up two from the first ball. Here's Tony Gregg now, and with him is Bill Laurie. It looks as if Wazim Raja has been brought into the attack out there. He's going to bowl his leg spinners, I suppose, although he's on seemingly a longer run, and uh, it looks as if he might be going to bowl medium paces. Well, we've got some runs way down to fine leg. One to Gabriel. He's gone, he's got him out, caught behind. So Rashi, he, um, was in Bari there, bowling his seamers, gets one to bounce a little bit more. An outside edge taken by the keeper Bari, and the Pakistan is extra. Well, Raja, normally leg breaks and top spinners, gets a bit of bounce, a thin edge, and Bari does the rest, and that's a vital breakthrough for Pakistan. He's delighted, why not? And so is his captain. Relief for Jarvid me and Dad. And it's one for nine. Augustine Logie striding out to bat at number three for the West Indies. That's the first time he's done it in this Benson Hedges World Series Cup. Taking guard to replace Desmond Haynes out court behind. That's a bit of bounce from Raj on that occasion. Straight away, the ball bowled wide outside off stump. And as a result of that man moving across to the other side, a little bit of a gap in there, and that one down to the boundary of point before West Indies, one for 13. Rashid to Gabriel. Oh, what a catch! Oh, no, he's not out. Crikey, I thought that hit the inside edge of the bat. What a take by Barry. It was a superb save. It was a shout. Probably off the pad, but it went wide. You see the ball pushed down the leg side. He went after it, a deflection off the thigh pad, and beautifully taken by Wasimbari. Save four runs. Wasim Raja bowling to Gus Logie. Played away down to square leg there. Two bounces into the boundary. And he can't afford the ball too short. And I think perhaps Javid Miandad has got the best out of this man in terms of his seamers, I don't think it'd probably be a good idea to get him onto the leggies. The score down there in the left-hand corner, this lovely scoreboard. 1 for 17. Gabriel has two, Logie eight. That one also hooked away down there. He's in there and he's dropped it. Well, what an opportunity for Pakistan. That looks like Ejaz down there. Coming in and dropping the ball. Yes, I think he set him up. He dropped it in short. He went after it. Put it straight down his throat. He put it down. Gus Logie facing Rashid Khan. And that uh, one short once again to Gus Logie. And it's hit the top of the fence and bounce back into play, so bowling to his strength at the moment. 
Well, I guess Logie, he's only a little boy, but uh, he certainly has got a lot of power. That's in the air and wide of Tahir. So the Pakistan team definitely trying to set Logie up for a catch at the backward square leg. And it could prove to be, I think, an expensive business. Rashid pitching short again, and Logie showing that he's a superb striker of that stroke. That's high in the air, and Javid is the man underneath it, and he's taken the catch. So that's a well-planned wicket there for Pakistan. They worked very hard on that one, and I must say that Javid is going about his captaincy job in a very aggressive manner. It certainly is, and that was it rather extraordinary that Gus Logie took up the challenge with such enthusiasm. He knew the men were there for the catch, yet he still persisted in playing this, which must be one of his favourite strokes. It was a bad stroke, that. It was too wide, too far outside the off stump. He couldn't get it over to the leg side, got a top edge, up into the air it went, into the safe, safe hands of Javid Meander. So Logie is out, West Indies, 2 for 28. 2 for 32 after 13 overs. Gabriel four, Richards two. A very interesting battle going on here at the Adelaide Oval. And a good shot from Drew Richards, just beating the left hand of Tahir a point. Yes, it was a superb uh, stroke. Well, what's Charlie Meandad going to do about that chap on the right? Of Richards. That short. There's no one out at deep mid wicket. A safe boundary there for Richard Gabriel as Wazim Raja just strays a little in length. Fourteen overs gone. West Indies two for forty-three. Cut here to Richards. A beautiful piece of timing. Really dug that one out of the block hole and fairly raced past Javid me and Dad in the covers. Well. It's in the air, but uh, Padilla didn't even have time to get the hands up. Only after the ball had gone past, he put his hands on his head. Brings up the 50 for the West Indies. Cardia to Gabriel. That's a good delivery, well bowled, Kadir. The wrong end, and Richard Gabriel didn't see that one at all. Getting back in a position to cut the leg break, but a leg break it wasn't. As Richard Gabriel found out to his cost. There are a lot of people who can't pick Kadir's wrong end, and that was an absolutely beautiful ball coming back a matter of a foot. As Gabriel tried to make room for himself to cut the ball, paid the penalty, was bowled out for 10. And the third wicket is down for 52. Larry Gomes, the left-hander, facing Kadir. Oh, well bowled. Beautiful bowling. He didn't read that at all. And very unlucky there not to have picked up that wicket. By signalled and the West Indies 3 4 57. It's very important, Tony, for Pakistan that they keep this end bottled up. It is bowling exceptionally well from the other end. So far, Madassa has been able to do that, and it's been excellent captaincy by Javid so far. Every move that he's done today seems to have come off. Oh, and a big appeal there for caught behind. He's given him out. Larry Gomes out, caught behind. He knows he's gone to, so Madassa, who does it so often for them, strikes for Pakistan. And just a faint tickle off the bat. And for a moment it appeared as though it wasn't going to carry through to Wazimbari. Larry Gomes very strong on that onside. Gets a lot of runs down there. Just flicked it. And Bari across. Umpire Dick French. No hesitation. He had a good view of that one. And that's a vital breakthrough for Pakistan. And the West Indies, they're struggling at 4 for 59. Abdul Qadir bowls now to Richards. Well bowled, that's in the end, it's good to be out, he's got him, he's gone, up go the hands of the Pakistanis.
Pakistan is the Richards are coming to the pressure there. Great captaincy by David Miandad. Magnificent bowling by Kadir. And no mistake in the catch. And full credit both to Kadir and to Javid. Javid prepared to take the gamble and beautifully bowled by the leg spinner. And Viv Richards, the great Viv Richards, falling for the trap. Tried to smash Javid out of that position. Hit it in the air. Went straight down the fieldsman's throat down it deep mid-off and a beautiful piece of work by the Pakistanis and they're right in this game now so Viv Richards out for 18, caught Mansur down at deep mid-off off the bowling of Kadir and a beautiful piece of bowling plus a great piece of captaincy and he's also putting the pressure on Jeffrey Dujon one cut away into the gap, beautiful shot by Dujon not a great delivery that one, just a little short and Dujon playing a beautiful shot. The back foot smashing it through the gap at point. Dujon faces Madassa. Oh, that's cut away beautifully. He does play that shot lovely. Beautiful shot, it really is. He cut it away so forcefully behind square. The fieldsman there is Abdul Qadir and he didn't move. Reminiscent of the other evening when Richie and Lawson fell to him. What a spell of leg spin. And Lawson Barry it took a year to get the bars off then. It was a beautiful delivery. Dujon used his speed. He was beaten by fight and spin. And wasn't Barry, it seemed ages. The wrong him, he was down. You see, wasn't Barry. Fumbles, gathers again, makes the stumping. Umpire Dick French says that out, that's out, and it's a great spell of bowling for Kadir. What a magician with the leg spin. He has been against the West Indian side and the West Indies are now 6 for 75. What a change has come over this match. That man at the non-striker's end is frowning. Why shouldn't he be? Marshall faces Abdul Qadir. He's thrown it up and he's put it away. He gambled and lost on that occasion. A beautiful cover drive from Marshall. Michael Marshall showing that he's got a shot or two in his book. It's a very even contest. Quick idea the fielder. Oh, and Lloyd is run out. Now, who on earth called there? It wasn't Lloyd. You can bet your life on that. There was definitely a shout of yes. And I'd say that Marshall played it and called. It was... Lloyd's call because the ball went behind point and that was a fiasco not if you're a Pakistani supporter because that was the break they needed he played that Malcolm Marshall he took off he didn't look at his partner was well fielded and who was it it was a magician Kadir who fired it to Wadabari and Clive Ward was not even in picture and that's a great lucky breakthrough for Pakistan they need a bit of luck it hasn't been going for them this summer Clive Ward departs at 7 for 92 Madassa to Marshall. It was a good shot. A beautiful stroke, that, and no desperation out there. That was a weak piece of fielding. Javid can't believe that. He went with one hand. It wasn't Raja. It was well struck, but he had that covered. And no desperation whatsoever, and runs are so vital when you're on top. Madassa to Baptiste. A shot from Baptiste. Good all-rounder, this fellow. But he'll have a little touch of nerves out there in front of a big crowd here at the Adelaide Oval. Takes three from that stroke. I suppose around Australia, Bill, there are a lot of people sitting back and saying, well, why is it that Australia are not taking a leg spinner to the West Indies? But uh, do we have anyone of the quality of Abdul Qadir? Tahir Nakash bowling to Malcolm Marshall. Marshall in the air and safe. Wide of mid on. He was a bit annoyed when he mishit that full toss. The previous ball. But he's picked up three from that lofted shot. It's seven for 123. 
bit of angle connected with his bowling, which will drag him across onto that leg side. It's in the air, but wide of Cardia. And timed well enough to go to the long boundary down there at mid-off. A fine shot. Beautiful stroke there by old Ian Baptiste. A long boundary out there, and that ball fairly rocketed away into the boundary. Strokes are starting to flow now. Old Ian Baptiste, the final rounder, and the West Indies taking the game up to Pakistan now. Seven for 143. Simrajar showing his versatility here today. He's top scored with 46. He's captured one wicket with medium pace. Can he do the same with his leg spinners? And he has straight away. Straight away, Wazim Raja strikes with the leg break. Baptiste is out. Four at point. And they're back in the game again. Rashid Khan, the man at point, taking the catch. Quite a simple one. Well, how Wasim Raja must love this Adelaide Oval. Good fortune smiles upon him. As Baptiste cuts the ball away to the backward point area and Eldine Baptiste is caught. Out for 24. Father Miandad shuffles his forces around the field, set his field very carefully, and as a result... Pakistan now need two wickets to win this game. West Indies need 32 runs, 3.55 runs per over in nine overs. Holding faces Ijaz. Safely away. Now there were shouts of catch it. And I bet not just Holding's uh, heart jumped into his mouth, but the non-striker Marshall as well. Holding to face Wasim Raja. Edgy but safe. Rashid Khan, the fielder. Holding picks up two more. And the tension rises out there. This is the ninth over for Wasim Raja. LBW. Holding given LBW. It looked as though that was just about a Yorker that he tried to force away through bit on. Wasim Raja has got holding. And Pakistan are within one wicket of a sensational victory. And this is going to be a tense game as holding departs. The victim of a well-flighted Wasim Raja spinner. It was a top spinner, it seemed. He was on the pop increase in line with leg stump. Up goes the finger as Wasim Raja strikes yet again. And the ninth wicket is down with 159 runs on the board. It's a pretty awkward position to be in, the one that Wayne Daniel finds himself in. I don't think they'll get that. Same for me. So, uh, the ball came off the pad, and the batsman scraped his bat along the ground. A great deal of light-hearted by-play came out of that little incident. Wayne Daniel was more concerned about getting back to the crease than worrying about what uh, Java Miandad thought was a catch. I think it was just a little piece of uh, pleasantry that the Pakistanis were indulging in. It was right off the front pad. Missed the bat by about six inches. Oh, it's no good running off like that. He didn't hit anywhere near it. They've done it again. It was a good ball and it beat Wayne Daniel quite comprehensively. It's nine for 160. Yes, it is. He's not out when it comes off the pad. Nine for 160. 
That equation is that uh, 18 runs are needed, 19 balls remaining. At uh, the end of this over, it'll be 18 and 18. Marshall looks for one. Will he take two? Yes, they're going to. They have to make a snap decision there whether they wanted Daniel to have the strike. And Abdul Qadir has finished his 10 overs. It's nine for one, six, two. It's tons of time. 18 balls, 16 runs required for victory. Just the one wicket in hand. Daniel yet to score. The batsman on strike. Oh, he gets an edge. There's no slipper. It races away for valuable runs. And they've gone through for three. And that really was a... A blow to Javid Miranda at that. Malcolm Marshall on 46. Cuts. Cuts beautifully. Two to Marshall. So the pressure on everybody here at the Adelaide Oval. The batsman. Marshall. He's been superb. He's on 48. Ten runs required. 14 balls remaining. Wayne Daniel getting a single and playing very well under pressure. Big fast bowler giving it the full face of the bat. Nine runs required for victory. 13 balls remaining. Seven runs off this over from Rashid. A very good over for the West Indians. And the pressure now back on the bowler. An over that has shown that it's reasonably easy to score off the medium paces on this excellent Adelaide wicket. And it's more difficult against these spinners. Throws, misses, Malcolm Marshall retains the strike. Eight runs to win, nine for 170. Malcolm Marshall's 50. Ball pitch, Kazim's at cover point. Just the single. Throws, hits the stumps. Marshall attempting the throw, looking for the overthrow. Tahir. Oh, there it goes, an outside edge. Wayne Daniel, that's through for two. Kadir's got the ball, he fires it in. Fine return, the two valuable runs. Three runs for victory, seven balls remaining. Tahir chose in his face to strain the pressure. Tahir's had an unfortunate day, a wild first over. And now he has all the responsibility on his shoulders of bowling these deciding balls. And in the West Indies dressing room, the jubilation mounts as Marshall and they get closer to their goal. The teeth flash, the smiles reappear. Fieldsman coming up, mid on and mid off coming in to restrict the single. There's three men in a circle on the offside, two on the on. Rashid the bowler. Struck it. There it goes. A beautifully played shot from Malcolm Marshall, racing out to the boundary. A great victory by the West Indians. They were gone for all money, but Malcolm Marshall showing his pass here today. It's superb knock of 56, not out. Certainly a magnificent all-round performance from Malcolm Marshall. Three wickets, a half century. And he's rescued his side from the very verge of defeat when all seemed lost. Oh, what a little nail biter that was. And Pakistan so nearly pulled it off. It's a very exciting match. I think quite the most exciting we've had in this summer's Benson Hedges World Series Cup. The West Indians, well, they faltered on a number of occasions there. But their great temperament and will to win carried them through in the end with Malcolm Marshall 56 not out. A fine innings that from 84 balls faced. They had a lot of trouble early on. Richard Gabriel took 51 balls to make 10. Haynes was out for three. Logie 19 and Richards 18. And the little leg spinner claimed Richards' wicket once again. And his performance with the ball today was quite outstanding. 10 overs, one maiden, three for 34. Wasim Raja couldn't have been very far away from being named man of the match. He picked up 46 runs and three wickets. Rashid Khan, one for 29. And Madassa Nazar, one for 32. And in fact, the man who just pipped Wasim Raja for the post of uh, man of the match, player of the game, was Malcolm Marshall, who...